Good morning, gentlemen. HVAC lovers, people that actually work on HVAC, and then people that you know try to and fuck it up. <laughs> All right. guys I am heading out to do a lot of service calls there's four today I was out late last night uh, tomorrow's full Friday's full Monday's full there's just a lot of work coming in since it got 85 a couple days ago everybody's turning on their ACs to find out oh, they don't work uh, so we're going out to fix them one at a time so I'm heading out today. The first call is actually not no cool. It's a venting. I'm venting a range. It's kind of a carryover from a customer I had last year. Just happened to be right here at the time of year it turned 85. So I'm venting a range. I don't know if we'll show any of that. The other ones are all no cooling calls. So we'll see what's going on with those. And have us some HVAC fun. Here we are on call number two. Look at that. Uh, unit I installed a couple years ago. Actually, not a couple years ago. Just over a year and a half ago, I guess. Because it's on YouTube. Not cooling. Let's see what's going on. You can see the comfort alert back there. It shows us it's tripped. We have a burnt wire right here. Looks like we're not getting power to the compressor. So we're going to try to figure out why that is. Have to remake that wire. Restart the system. It's burnt in half. Not sure what's going on there. Don't see any other damage. I'll to check the capacitor too. Look underneath this contactor, see what it looks like. Yep, she is toasty, that is for sure. We'll take this wire back, reconnect it, put it back to the comfort alert there in the center terminal, or center hole, and see if she fires off and what she's doing when she fires off. We have our probes hooked up here. Self-cooling, superheat. Target superheat is 22.5. We're looking pretty good. We got 22.8, 296 over 130 or so, 128.9. So our liquid line temperature and suction line temperature used to calculate superheat cell cooling. So we're looking pretty good actually. So we'll let it run for a few more minutes, but if we wanted to add any charge, a little puff on the cap there looks like it was only that, a puff that was contained inside the O-ring. So I put some mylog on it. Happy day. We look like we're doing very well. The train unit over there is rocking and rolling there. Can't hardly really tell on the video, but it's shaking there. It's keep moving. <laughs> You're next, buddy. Kind of little yellow blobs there on the comfort alert. It has five. That is our code that will diagnose the prior condition. And that code means, let's check it out. Open circuit. After circuit has been open for more than four hours, like when a wire gets toasted. So, our wire. Scared the hell out of me. I don't remember what I was saying before the air conditioner scared the shit out of me. But I think the idea was that the comfort alert was giving us a diagnostic signal that said signal had been lost or electrical signal had been lost to the compressor for more than four hours during a call so this these wires weren't pulling any amperage no amperage was passing through those wires even though there was a low voltage signal present for the contactor to close basically so that's where we're at we should be squared away the charges look good I'm disconnecting my hoses on the Z manifold super duper ultra also known to I manifold that is also its name but all right oh so guys and then the rain came call number one fitted the range call number two a man a burned off wire call number three was a leaking train evaporator coil I'm beginning to think all train evaporators leak and then call number four we're heading to now. It's raining, but I think it's going to stop. I'm optimistic.
when will this unit die? 